Hey everybody, I'm Darren Springer, General Manager for Burlington Electric Department. We are here at the second annual 2023 Net Zero Energy Festival at 585 Pine Street, Burlington Electric Department headquarters. We're so excited to be here today with the community, talking about all the different technologies that can help us reduce our fossil fuel use and save money and save energy. Among the different activities and vendors we have here today, we have a number of the city EVs and other uh, electric vehicles on display. We have electric vehicle test drives and e-bike test rides. We've been raffling items from partners and at 1245, we're gonna be raffling off an e-bike courtesy of VSECU and North Star Sports. We've got our new electric bucket truck on display for people to check out. And we've got fossil fuel free food vendors, including Ben and Jerry's, Pizza 44, Micro Mobile Kitchen. And we also have a great kids activity center over here with Veep, Echo Leahy Museum, and the UVM Physics Department. So we're really excited to be here today just so we can have a great event for the community, live music, uh, beautiful weather, and really talk about uh, steps that we can take together on the path towards net zero energy uh, 2030. Good afternoon, my name is Chris Burns. I'm the Director of Energy Services here at the Burlington Electric Department, and we're glad you can join us. Um, this is the BED information booth. Uh, you may have seen it at other events. We do a lot with the Lake Monsters and Somervale and some other events uh, in the, around the city. And this is a way to invite our customers to just come in and chat with our energy efficiency specialist and learn more about all the rebates that we're offering. Um, you can certainly learn about all of them on our website at burlingtonelectric.com. But it just gives customers an opportunity to talk to staff and talk about uh, you know almost any subject they want about their home or business and we're offering just a wide array of uh, incentives and technical information to help customers uh, help us with our net zero energy city goal so there's things about uh, electric vehicles electric bikes weatherization heat pumps and uh, with our partners uh, from the from the credit union this is our prize raffle that we'll be raffling off today. Um, it's part of our promotion to reduce transportation fuel. Um, we were raffling off some e-lawn equipment. And um, again, you know, a lot of this information that you see here on this table is available on our website. So please, uh, please take a look and be in touch. Thank you. Hey, I'm Tim and I'm here from VGS. We're helping the city of Burlington in some of its net zero energy goals through helping Burlington customers use less natural gas. We have a weatherization program, equipment rebates, and are actually now offering heat pumps to all of our customers. The table today, we have a variety of different weatherization products, some of our literature, and some oven mitts and pot holders. Since the combination of warmth and safety are some of our key priorities, as well as helping customers reduce carbon emissions. So we appreciate the city for the invitation today and will continue to serve as a valuable partner in its decarbonization goals. Hi there, my name's Phil Hammerslaw. Uh, I'm part of Walk to Shop, which is a nonprofit organization part of Net Zero Vermont and our motto is more people walking more often. Um, we bring in a trolley, which is what we call it. Some people would have called it a granny cart. And they come from Spain, a company called Rolzer, which is run by women. And we have four models. Um, we have a kid's model, we have a medium-sized model, we have a large, and we just got in a four-wheeler, which we call our convertible, because it can go on two wheels or four wheels. We started about four years ago with the idea of working with agencies such as food shelves, senior housing, uh, people who are unhomed, and we distribute our trolleys um, as a result of the grants we've gotten. And right now we're working pretty much all over Vermont. We started just in Burlington. We've spread out to Chittenden County. We just distributed a whole bunch down to Bennington, Northeast Kingdom, uh, Williston, and mostly, as I said, we work with other nonprofits. So, if you'd like more information, come and find us on the net 
and we're Walk to Shop, Net Zero Vermont. And thank you. Hi, I'm Rob Kidd with the Vermont chapter of the Sierra Club out here at the Burlington Electric uh, Net Zero Energy Festival. Uh, Sierra Club is here because we're trying to encourage people to get out into electric vehicles. We have about a half a dozen um, actually a dozen cars here of owners who own the electric vehicles uh, because we've realized that uh, there's a lot of misconceptions out there today about vehicle electrification and one of them just gave you one example my car here has a range of 260 miles the car over there the, the Nissan has a range of 300 uh, miles per charge and a lot of people think these cars are not viable in today's world but most people We'll be charging at home, and if you have to get somewhere, uh, you can get there and live your day-to-day -day life. Um, so I encourage those who, who, who are interested in electric vehicles, talk to those on the street, uh, especially in events like this, a National Drive Electric Week. It happens to coincide with the Burlington Electric uh, uh, Net Zero Energy Fair. Uh, get out there and talk to your neighbors who have these cars because they are the ones who actually have experiences and know how to counteract all the myths of them. You know, another myth is people think these cars do not have power. My car has so much more power, I, I have to watch how fast I am driving because it has such pickup, and most of them do out there. So go out there and explore, talk to those who own them, and reduce your carbon emissions. By just reducing, switching to a car, you use 60% of less emissions than you would have if you were driving an internal combustion engine. So go out there, explore, and with all the great incentives out there, you can find yourself some great deals on a new electric vehicle. Hi, I'm Martin. Um, I've been driving electric for about 11 years. Um, I had a 13 Nissan Leaf, a 16 and a 2020 Nissan Leaf, and now I finally have the uh, Tesla that I've been dreaming of all my life. Um, and uh, all I can say is uh, I hope that more people get electrics. Uh, they're really great cars. Hello, I'm Michael. I'm from Westford, Vermont. I'm here in Burlington at the Burlington Electric uh, car and EV show. I drive a Honda Clarity, driven it for the last five years, and it is a hybrid, it's a plug-in hybrid, so it does have a motor, and it has a battery that gets 60 plus miles uh, on a full charge, which is great. My office is in Williston. I can drive back and forth to work on a full charge every day, and my aggregate miles per gallon right now is 200 miles per gallon. So I think it's a wonderful car. I wish Honda would make more of them, even though they've stopped production. So hopefully they come up with something better. Thank you all. Okay, I'm Carl Brandon. I teach uh, physics and climate change science and occasionally rocket science at Vermont Tech. Um, this is my Tesla Model S, which I bought and received in June 2016. I've had it since then. I have about 146,000 miles on it. Um, I charge it at home off photovoltaic panels. I have a five and a quarter kilowatt array on my garage, and I have a 5.4 kilowatt behind my house, and at the end of my field, I have a 183 kilowatt array, which is thir serves 38 families through Randolph Community Solar, and my, I get 6% of the output for supplying the acre of land for that big array. Um, and the car has just been great. I've had seven sobs before I had this car, and then GM put Saab out of business, and I was pretty bummed out by that. And it just a bunch of things happened that allowed me to buy the Tesla at the time. Now, the, this car, when I bought it, was about twice the price of the Saabs. But because I generate my own electricity, my net cost for electricity is about $0.03 cents a kilowatt hour, and it gets about three miles per kilowatt hour. So it cost me a penny a mile for fuel. So And also the uh, maintenance costs are about half per year of what they were for the Saab. So overall, I'm saving, because I drive a lot, about seven or $8,000 a year. So I've saved half of the cost of the car so far. And if I keep it another five or six years, I will have saved the entire, entire cost of the car. So, so far, it's already cheaper than my Saab. And if I keep it a while, it'll be a free car. So the great car, I mean, Saabs were great cars. And I even tested their collision uh, protection. And I hit a moose at 80 miles an hour and just got out of the car, walked away. It's the only car in the world designed and tested for moose collisions. But in the DOT uh, uh, 
crash tests, the uh, Teslas have had the highest crash ratings of any car ever tested. So they are, they're really wonderful for that. So um, I've, my son, who's 18, he's learned to drive in a Tesla. That probably spoils him. It makes it fairly easy. I would like him to learn to drive a shift car just in case he has to drive one. But I have a tractor. I may try to get him. I haven't been successful getting him to drive that yet. But they're wonderful cars. Um, I had no problems with the car. Some people will talk about, oh, I worry about being able to charge it. Well, 90, probably 95% of the time that I charge it, I charge it at home. So I'm always leaving the house with a full tank of gas, so to say. And so when I charge it at charging stations, it's when I'm doing a long trip of two or more hours away from home. And on those, uh, I've done it long enough. The car knows where all the charging stations are. It's never been a problem. So I have no reservations. People say they worry about it. There's nothing to worry about. It takes a different mindset. You have to learn some different ways of operating than you do with a gas car. But the amount of money you save makes it easily worth it. And what you're doing for the environment makes it easily worth it. Hi, my name is uh, Richard Gleish. A year ago, I founded uh, Wood Fired. Uh, I'm here in Burlington, Vermont. I, I manufacture uh, small backyard uh, pizza ovens made out of recycled steel drums. They burn, they burn wood, so you get the full uh, wood burning experience for your pizza, except they're made out of recycled drum. They burn very little wood. Uh, usually just a few sticks will get you uh, a full uh, dinner. And they're very easy to use, and also they give you access to uh, your wood-fired pizza cooking experience uh, at a relatively low price and uh, with a, an oven that's very easy to use, that's very portable. Hi everyone, we are Mighty. I am B Brooke Isabel and this is Bill Calfi. We are the local Amazon alternative. Hey Brooke, so yes, you can order online just like you do with that monster Amazon, have all the items delivered to your doorstep, and yet all the money stays in the local community. So we support all the great businesses that are involved here. And the delivery is by electric vehicle, like this is one of our delivery vehicles. So local fuel, local people delivering, your neighbors support our local economy. Okay, I'm it. All right. Yes. All right. You ready? I'm going to power it up. All right, my name is Elizabeth Knuckles and I work for Echo Lake Aquarium and Science Center as their Senior Programs Manager. And we are here today at the Net Zero Energy Festival, powering up our dancing airman with just the use of these muscles right here. My friend is powering the bike, that's powering the battery, that's empowering the dancing airman. We're having a lot of fun here today with our corporate partners, Burlington Electric at their Net Zero Festival. Um, we've brought our bike generator today. We've brought our rigamajig, freeform building materials, and we've also brought an airplane launcher. The kids are making airplanes and, and launching them uh, towards the cones. They're engineering, they're designing, they're planning, they're launching, and they're improving their designs today. <laughs> so we're happy to be here supporting Burlington Electric. Um, and it's a great day to be outside. Am I good? Hi everybody, I'm Sophia Donforth and I'm the director of the Vermont Energy Education Program. And we are here today at the Net Zero Fest showing folks how electricity works and how you can make electricity with magnets and wires. Um, our program goes to schools all across Vermont and into New Hampshire to show people how our energy is produced and how our energy usage impacts the climate. And if you haven't seen us in a school near you, um, look for us at veep.org. We're starting to do workshops for adults as well. So if you missed it this year, we're going to try to do this again next year. But we're really excited for everyone who's joining us here today at Pine Street for the Net Zero Energy Festival. Thanks so much.